Jamin here. Make sure you subscribe below so you don't miss anything. I want to start off by first giving a big shout out to all of the people who've supported this channel on Patreon. You guys are flat out amazing. You put your money where your mouth is. And I love that because we have a lot of different kinds of content in the world. We got sports analysts. We've got news analysts. But I'm the only one out here that's a swing dance analyst. And it's quite lonely, folks. I mean, we all hate liars, but try telling the truth. Usually you're kind of that one person who's either ostracized or isolated. And then eventually years down the line, people begin to say, oh, you know what? He has a point. It makes sense now. And that only happens when you have more people appreciate truth and facts more than their personal belief or their group's opinion. So thank you guys for supporting me on this lonely road. I'm having so much fun. Uh, being able to share publicly what all of us are saying privately. So if you guys love this channel, I would encourage you to join in and support this channel through Patreon. And of course, as a gift, you get access to my entire Swing Dance catalog. Without further ado today, I'm going to be taking a look at a video. Uh, looks like it's called Frankie BA 2022. It's a Strictly Lindy finals. You guys know Strictly Lindy is one of my favorite type of competition structures. You get the best choreography, you get a loud audience, a live band, and it's, and it's kind of short. There's not like an entire showcase worth of choreography. So it makes it special, it makes it pithy, and I can't wait to give you guys my thoughts on this. But before we do that, I gotta tell you, I'm gonna be looking specifically for the person who has the most creativity. Not so much the best execution or the great timing. I wanna see some fresh creativity and that's what I'm gonna be looking for. And I'm gonna give you guys my big fat bloated opinion right after this. Okay, I'm ready for this. We got a live band, we got a small venue. Yes, we got a hyped up audience. Ah, oh, This has all the right ingredients guys for something something special and i'm hunting for it i gotta see something fresh something new all right let's just see where my eyes kind of gravitate to first uh ah uh, yes yes <laughs> yes Okay, yeah, so first off, I'm paying attention to there's a gentleman with red shirt and his partner has a black, like big black, I don't know if they're shorts or pants or a skirt, but it's beautiful. And now he's in the back. He's got white shoes on. They did some really cool connection stuff that was uh, kind of rooted in just basic social dancing, but I liked some of the movements he did. Now, the person that's standing out the most to me, or the couple, is the couple of the, he she's got tan pants on and he's got a tan shirt on tan pants and they're kind of taking their time they're not really showing us yet what they can do so usually that's a clue that they're holding holding out on us uh, and they're saving all their best stuff for their set which gives me high hopes that something's gonna be special uh, let's see I like this girl in the front too. She's got a red shirt on, glasses. I really like just how she's expressing her joy. The leader's a little bit more chill and she's just expressing herself and they look like they're having a good time. Just love her movements. Just just long, long legs and the way that she's using a lot of her leg positioning really stands out. I like that. A lot of times followers get stuck thinking that following is all about just trying to stand out. But following is the main thing. So is leading. Leading is the main thing. And it's more about what you're doing together with your partner, more so than what you could just do by yourself holding their hand. And so, you know, there's an extra bonus when people can never forget what they're doing with their partner and still express a personality when doing that. I think that's that's the thing that I think people really want to do, not just kind of give them space to do their own thing. Well, you're, you're, you're with your partner, so it's not really your own thing. So she stood out a lot to me because I felt like she could do that. Now, here we go. Oh, they're playing this live Dinah. Okay, that was cool. 
Oh, that was good. See? <laughs> See, I told you. Oh, I want to rewind that, but I can't. I got to keep going. I got to keep going. Yes. He, yeah, I can tell this leader means business. Yeah. Ah, yes. Nice. Using that power. Lift your partner up. Boom. Yes. Even a little snap. Ah, oh, man, this is good. I'm already sold. Okay. Now, oh, nice little leg lift. That was good. And you got to respect the aerials. Not everybody can do them. Okay, here goes my favorite follower. Let's see what goes down. Yes. Okay, this was this was the couple I was talking about earlier. They had really great uh, connection with each other. Good good technique. Very smooth. Look at that. Really controlled. Very good control. Beautiful. Boom. Out of the way. Out of the way. Love that. Love how the followers look back like that. <laughs> that was great. Yes. A lot of a lot of Sky Humphreys influence movements. Super cool. Okay, truck it. Oh, I like that crossover, that Charleston crossover. That was good. Oh, again, again. The couples, he's got the cane. Someone in the audience threw him a cane. That was great. Ah, good Charleston, guys. Beautiful. Beautiful. Good aerials. Not everybody can do aerials, man. You got to respect people who can just do it and they put in the hard work. Even if it's not an original aerial, they're still doing it. I mean, it's not easy. I don't know. I don't know what that was. <laughs> it was different, but I don't know what it was. I don't know if I like that, but I don't know if I hate it either. It was just different. Yes. All right, swing outs. <laughs> Never gets old. I'm feeling the chicken skin. Oh, this audience is great. The band is great. I'm so excited. This is good. <sighs> the clarinet player's crushing it. <laughs> Woo, guys. Wow, wow, wow. I got to tell you guys, I had fun watching that. That was so refreshing on so many levels. Let me let me just go first to the couple I liked. Uh, I you know I I said I was just gonna look at the most creative move, but I've got to acknowledge just this couple set. I loved this couple set. They brought it with full energy, with in, just an intensity, with a technical excellence, and with an attitude that said they were here to not take sides, but they were here to take over. <laughs> and this couple right here, yeah, when they first come out, look at look at what happens when they come out. Right, you can see he's got the black, the white, just the switch, they're, they're moving so quickly, and that reverse swing out right there, and then boom, they go here, boom, <laughs> they come around. But my favorite point was this, they go right here, 
And you bop right there. Guys, it's those little details like that that really stand out. There were a couple other things that I like that some other folks did, but I think they were my highlight. They were my highlight couple for, again, I got to go back to the good timing and the good technique. And, but I, I think the thing I was looking for, like I mentioned, is the creative part. What makes me think about my own dancing and where I can improve creatively. So my eyesight wasn't really focused on a lot of the technical things that I always mention, but I had to give a shout out to that couple. So they were, they were legit. Here's my favorite moment, guys. This was my favorite moment, this couple right here. And I told you when they, when they were doing their little warm up, they were just kind of hanging out. So they kind of teased me with that little thing right there. But this right here, that was so good. I didn't see that coming. And then the little part here, you know, they've got the little stuff. They're doing their char that right there. The little moving forward with their Charleston. That planted a new idea in my mind. Oh, and then the cane on top of that. Look at that. It's a cane. It wasn't even a dance move. It was just... Someone threw him a stick and then he just goes out and that's the main move I remember from the entire competition. Look at that. You see how powerful creativity is. I love that. Now I know they were probably not the first people to throw an object from the audience. There's been others that have done that. They throw the hats and they catch them and do aerials. That's cool. But it's the fact that nobody else did it. Nobody else did it in this competition and they dared to do it. I also liked that they weren't standing out very much in their warm up. So I was curious, they were more peculiar and I thought, you know, what are they gonna do? And by the time they did that first set, I was sold. I said, you know, to myself that I wanna keep watching them. What are they gonna do? Whew, that was fun. That was really cool. You guys, let me know what you think about this one. What was your favorite moment? Those are my main couple of moments that I liked in this one. But I want to hear what you guys think about this one in the comment section below. How about that band? That clarinet player is making me want to whip my clarinet out right now and start practicing. That was just a great rendition of Dinah. I love that song. Uh, all around, it's a great song, great performance. And the audience, you guys, man, that was so good. The audience was hyped up. I, I really wanted to be that couple sitting on the far end. They were just kind of sitting there. They had the best spot in the house. It was great. I kind of like looking at things from the side just to kind of see the choreography from a different angle. And then all the other times I appreciate it, you know, directly in the front. But uh, I thought they had the best seat in the house. All right, guys, let me know what you think about this video. Let me know who you thought was your favorite in this performance in the comment section below. If I don't see you guys' uh, comments below, hopefully I get a chance to see some of you in my free courses online. So don't forget about that. I got a lot of brand new free courses, and uh, I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.